Hey there, Capricorn. Welcome to your reading for the week of June 18th. Uh, this week, definitely check out astrojar.com for more awesome readers and astrologers. Uh, but let's see what's going on for you at this time. Um, let me just pull one more. There we go. Um, so, Ada Space, climbing a mountain, uh, you know, doing what Capricorn does going you know having been through a lot of difficulties to me this card represents about to take a rest so uh, i like this card you could be getting a lot of rest this week or being able to take rest again a few signs have had this message of you know just being able to take a break this week so uh, that's very nice for you this card says also don't overdo anything so no no uh, drinking too much driving drinking and driving none, none of that stuff uh, because this can be a card of it's kind of like the devil, you know, overdoing something and getting in trouble. So don't allow that to happen. Next, two of clubs needing to talk yourself into something. Uh, I feel like saying no giving up this week. Uh, typical Capricorn message, right? Um, so no no giving up on something that you're working on. I feel like you're close, so keep going. I, I just talked to somebody this morning about this. You know, with all this energy we have going on, it's like we could feel like giving up on some sort of project we give up on uh, that we've been working on. But if we give up, we're going to, you know, we're not going to get anywhere. And I feel like now more than ever we really need to like double down on you know business projects we're working on relationships anything that we're trying to get moving forward and even though it might not seem like it i do feel like they are moving forward those things and if we do double down and put the energy in uh, we will be much more successful in the fu near future next you have the eight of clubs can be confusion again not being sure what to do on some sort of project or some sort of business idea you have or maybe even in a relationship but this is a card of, it is a card of clarity coming in in the future. So you might just not see where things are going at this time. And you just need to kind of like stick with it to, you know, get them going forward. Amazing card for business though. Great card for work and a great card for selling yourself at work. This is like the card of marketing yourself, kind of like the queen of clubs. Uh, it says you need to sell yourself at this time, even if you have a business. Maybe you need to sell yourself more in the business or sell the business more. Um, you know, put it out there more basically, or even in a relationship. Maybe if you're not in a relationship, you need to sell yourself more, whatever the case may be. This is part of like putting yourself out there. Uh, Tor uh, Virgo had a very similar message. So very interesting. Uh, next, you have the five of clubs. Uh, I like this card a lot. It's a card of making changes, I feel like, for you uh, so that you can sell yourself more. So I do like to see that. It is a card of the millionaire as well. It doesn't say you will be a millionaire, but it does say the potential is there. So, and I, I think really what it really boils down to is with Saturn and Pluto on your sign, you know, you could be, you know, I think you have the potential to become very successful or at least to realize your dreams or realize some sort of big goal. So that's why I think you really need to kind of double down on those things at this time. Next, you have the Ace of Diamonds. Really good card of success, moving forward on the right path. Uh, great card for money and more money coming in and being able to make more money. It is a card of needing to face some sort of fear or kind of needing to face some sort of challenge to become successful. Uh, but I do think that if anybody can do it, it's you, definitely. And it's a card of straightforward work, um, you know, just kind of working on things in a very straightforward manner at this time. It's a great card of change and messages coming in about money as well. And it can also represent good news about something financial. So I do like to see this card a lot for you. And finally, four clubs, uh, your thoughts being aligned with the truth, as I always say, and a very good card of kind of the things that you think about are becoming things at this time as well. So I do like to see that. A very mental energy, I would say, for you this week could be very much in your head uh, at this time, but I do think that's in a good way. Um, these are these clubs cards can represent thinking and being in your head, but they can also be positive, and these are the positive clubs cards that you have here, and they can represent kind of coming up with a plan, which I think would be a good idea for you at this time as well. And so, so I like to see that. Um, and I would also say, do your research. Uh, these clubs cards, uh, the four clubs in particular, can say no get rich quick schemes, no nothing like that, um, because again, um, you know, you could be accepting things blindly. So no blind acceptance at this time. But to me, it looks like a good week for you, and kind of like getting ready to reach some goals. So that's always nice. But thank you for watching, and enjoy your week.